What do we do knowing how few people vote in the primaries and how important they are? What can faith communities contribute to solving this problem? What role do we play? Should we be doing civic engagement, especially as faith communities? I know a lot of you in this room believe the answer is yes, but I know that there's a lot of folks in your congregations who believe the answer is no. And that, as Dorothy already drew your attention to, is why you all need to pull out your Matter of Faith booklet that is at the very back of your binders. This is a series of sermon starters and litanies and prayers that are from a uh, myriad of traditions, and they all talk about why voting is a matter of faith. It's a great way to start the conversation in your communities about why this is an important issue. For faith communities specifically, we are vital to improving that voter turnout, and we cannot stay silent. So now that I've convinced you we should be doing civic engagement, <laughs> can you? Yes. yes. Again, I know you all believe that, but there is, of course, pushback in your communities. And so we have created a wonderful, shiny uh, pr printout for you all that is in your binders in tab four called Politics and the Pulpit. And this publication is a reprint of information directly from the IRS. We've just made it pretty and packaged it for you in a way that is much easier to read than their dreary document. So I want you all to take a look at that. We also have an extended version. Now, you don't have the extended version in your packets, but we have the extended version online. And this version is a guide that gives you more details and examples about all the ways that your community can be doing civic engagement lawfully. Again, these are just guides, and if you have more specific questions about any activities that you might want to participate in, we are here to help you. Texas Impact is plugged in. That's why you come to us. We know the laws for faith communities and how they can be involved in civic engagement. But we also are plugged into your faith communities. We know what you need and what you want to be working on. You drive our advocacy efforts and where we put our resources. We listen to you and move with you, not around you. So now let's talk about Texas Faith Votes. Texas Faith Votes started as our statewide campaign in 2020 before the presidential election. We started with a small suite of resources like voter information booths and the first versions of those matter of faith and politics and the pulpit publications. The goal of Texas Faith Votes is not just to mobilize you as an individual, to get out to vote. We want you to get your wider community involved and in turning out the vote. We're not concerned with how you vote, although Josh might have influenced you a little. <laughs> we are only interested in if you are voting, and that goes for everyone that you mobilize. This is a completely nonpartisan campaign, only focused on voter education and turnout. Over the last year and a half, we have expanded our resources through funding focused specifically on the greater Houston area. Texas Faith Votes is still the main umbrella of all of our resources, but we are shifting our focus to more localized regional branches to have a deeper impact. So let's talk about those regional faith votes campaigns. 
as I shared in 2022, we got funding to start a regional faith votes campaign in Houston. This funding allowed us to hire staff like Katie and myself dedicated to civic engagement and connecting congregations, both ones we had relationships with and those who didn't know who Texas Impact was. Can you imagine? <laughs> with those resources, as well as expanding the program, we have made this a community-wide campaign. Now, the goal of these events is three parts. We want to connect you to one another, to partner organizations in your area already doing that work, and to local officials. Those local officials, we don't want you to only know them. We want them to know that faith communities in their area are involved, dedicated, and will be holding them accountable during their term and at the polls. In August of 2023, we launched our Houston Faith Votes campaign through three major kickoff events across greater Houston. Now, these events provided opportunities for faith communities to learn together and know that they are not alone in trying to create change. We had breakout groups led by community leaders from congregations that have long histories of civic engagement work in Houston. We had tabling organizations to help communities connect with those organizations, including county officials, ethnicity-focused civic engagement groups, voter deputy registrars, and election protection groups. We also had faith leader panels and elected officials come speak, discussing the importance of faith communities' involvement in voter engagement and education. Now, I want to also point out that there it is, that we are having a, another Houston Faith Votes event on February 19th, and there's printed information in tab five about that event, as well as on, this Q, on the QR code there, and we've started a new campaign in North Texas, and that event will be happening on Saturday. So I hope to see many of your wonderful faces there again. So we've launched all of this with the hope that those communities can come together, they can connect to one another, to resources, and they can connect to our resources on our website, and most importantly, they can mobilize their communities. So now, what are the rest of our resources? At our August events, we launched the latest installments of our Texas Faith Votes suite of resources on our Voter Engagement Hub. All of our resources are available on our campaign page under the Voter Engagement sections, as well as at this QR code. We recognize that faith communities don't have the resources to reinvent the civic engagement wheel, and we don't want you to. There is no need. Your community can start civic engagement work and community mobilization by using any of our resources that meet your community where it is. We've even recently created a white label version of all of these resources that are being used across the country. We've created a matrix of engagement to kind of categorize where your community might be. So your community is welcome to jump in at any point in these levels and mix and match however, you're, however you'd like. But we've categorized as communities that have never done civic engagement, communities that have done some or consistently do one or more things, and communities that have decades of experience doing get out the vote work. Wherever you are, we are ready and we have the tools that you need to expand your efforts. A major, major part of those resources is this tool, Ballot Ready. Many of our resources in our voter engagement hub center around the use of this tool. Now this tool is provided to you free through Texas Impact. 
What is Ballot Ready? Ballot Ready is a all-in-one, one-stop shop, voter information platform. It is perfect for mobilizing your members, and it is also great for mobilizing outside of your membership. That can include anything like direct services, uh, community outreach, neighborhood engagement, any of the things that your community might already be involved in, as well as any new civic engagement opportunities that you start now. And I wanna make this very clear. This tool is not just for those within your faith community. Use it to connect and to mobilize the people around you in these elections. Now everyone get out your phones. I want you all to scan this QR code and take yourselves to our ballot ready voter engagement widget. Once you get there, you're gonna input your address and be as specific as you can to make sure that you get the right information. I'll give you all a moment to do that. Everyone good? I know you're still working, but is it wor everyone's getting it there? All right. I'm sure. <laughs> I just overloaded their Wi-Fi system, so. If it doesn't work for you right now, keep the tab open and use it later in the day, because this platform is very, very important. Once you're on the platform, I want you to click check your voter registration. There's a little tile that will pop up with all of those options. It's very important that you check your voter registration now to make sure that you can vote in those primaries. The voter registration deadline is February 5th. That is next Monday. And I want you to double check your voter registration to make sure that you have not been purged from those lists. There are funny things happening with those voter registration lists. Now, as you open up that platform, you'll also notice that some of those options are not available. They're kind of grayed out. But Ballot Ready will input that data by the end of the week on February 5th. And that continues to be the case that it's grayed out like that in between every election. So, they take their time and put up that data to make sure all things are correct before they publish it. All right, I'm gonna switch away now, but if you, need, if you need to continue putting in your ballot information, or your address, I mean, you can go just directly to the Texas Impact site. I hate to interrupt, yes. None of us on this side of the room can access that. Okay, great. So, <laughs> yes, go directly to the Texas Impact, just the home page and scroll all the way down and you'll find the widget at the bottom of the page there. Yes. Yes. No, you're fine. I'm glad I was, I was going to say, if you're still unable to, yes. Were you able to put in as specific of information as possible? So it's very important that you put the whole address, zip code, everything you can. And if there's any problems, let me know. I'll be in the pecan room after this, all right? <laughs> Woo, all right. So let's look at what you should be seeing if you've made it this far. So. There's a bunch going on on our Civic Center here. This is what folks are gonna see when they scan the QR code that you're all going to request by the end of this presentation. So we've got who represents you currently. You can see who your elected officials are all the way down to your school boards. That's again, very important. You can also see a sample ballot. That, prod that uh, widget right now is grayed out like I said. But come February 5th, that information will be there. And one of the most important things about seeing your sample ballot is you can click on who you want to vote for 
and then print that out and take it to the polls with you. You can take the paper. You, you can take the paper. You can take the paper. I took it on December 9th to vote in the Houston runoff election. You can take the paper. You can't take your phone, but you can take the paper. Yes. So print it out. That is the important distinction. You can use it on the platform, but you need to print that out. You can also just write it down, but this makes it easy to print out if you're able to do that. You can also see your polling locations. So that information is very helpful for folks who might not be as aware of where their polling locations are if they're voting for the first time or have just moved to a new location. You can also request a mail-in ballot. That's very important. You can also plan to vote, and it will send you an email about the times that you've planned to vote, when you plan to vote, and where you've planned to vote. And you can also make a pledge to vote. So you can sign on there, put your name down, and say, I pledge to vote, and it'll ask you, did you vote? Because you said you would. Yes, exactly. Schedule that appointment so you do not forget. And I know none of you will, but the people you're serving might. So now, as it was pointed out, in tab four, there is a uh, one pager called Ballot Ready, and it has all this information, but most importantly, it has a request link, and there's also a physical request form next to that one pager as well. So what I want to talk about now is why your faith community should request a Ballot Ready unique link. Using either this QR code, the physical form, or the QR code printed on your papers, you can request a unique link for your faith community, and you'll be sent a unique URL and a QR code that allows you to share Ballot Ready with everyone in your community. So why is that helpful? Like I said, Ballot Ready provides all of our voter information to folks, no matter where they live. A lot of the people in your communities might not live in the same districts that your churches are at. And it is very difficult as a congregation to collect all of that information that might be pertinent to every single member or every single person who interacts with your direct services. This takes away that work. Most importantly, Ballot Ready allows Texas Impact to track how your congregation is mobilizing the community. Now, this is different than a lot of the voter information platforms you may have used in the past. And those are wonderful platforms, but they don't allow you to track who you're interacting with. And why is that important? We need to know what materials work best. Are you putting it in bulletins? Are you putting it on announcement slides? Are folks clicking that? Are they voting? Are they checking their registration? Are they requesting a mail-in ballot? Now finally, the most important thing about this trackability is that we can compare your church's membership or those you serve against the Voter Activation Network or the VAN. This allows us to see if someone actually voted. To be clear, no one can see how you vote if you voted is a matter of public record. We have a resource called Mobilize a Member Campaign. We created this in conjunction with Congregation Emmanuel in Houston. They started their EE Votes campaign several years ago, and they thought that they would start out with voter registration. It turns out almost 100% of their members were registered to vote. They continue to hold voter registration on high holy holidays, but they decided to compare their membership with the van. 
and they realized that although their membership was registered, their voter turnout was worse than the Harris County numbers, <laughs> which are very low. So they started calling folks, and they encouraged them to make a plan to vote, and people assured them that they would go vote. And they might be voting in every election, but wouldn't it be a good idea to check? <laughs> and the other thing is if people know that you're gonna check, they're a lot more likely to actually follow through. Mm -hmm. Exactly, accountability. So how do you use this ballot ready tool in conjunction with our voter engagement hub resources. As I said earlier, almost every one of our resources